Hello, this is Steve at Hydrogen for Health. Welcome back to another video. Today what we're going to do is we're going to test the hydrogen content of our most popular two bottles that we are carrying. How we're going to do that is we have the blue drops. This is MIZ. This measures the amount of hydrogen in the water. What we do is we take a sample of water up to this line and you put a drop of MIZ into the sample water and for every drop you put in and the sample water turns clear from blue to clear that means you have 0.1 ppm of hydrogen content so we'll use that to measure we also have an ORP meter we'll just check the ORP while we're checking the hydrogen content we're going to be using distilled water today this water is free of any contaminants or anything, so that's why I chose it for the test today. I wanted to let you know that these two bottles look exactly like the ones we've been selling for a year now, but these two are different. These are the new and improved versions. What they've done is they put the platinum on the membrane instead of the plates, and what it's doing is it's making a much finer bubble. We're getting micro bubbles and some nano bubbles into the water which is giving us a much, much higher ppm than the old bottles. We were getting a 0.9 to 1.5 ppm on the older bottles, and these bottles are going from 1.5 up to 2 plus ppm. And there's a little bit of pressure that's applied from the cap, so we get a little bit of pressure in the bottle. Helps it to contain more hydrogen in the water. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to fill both the bottles up. We're going to start the seven minute cycle on them. And after the seven minute cycle, we'll take a measurement of the hydrogen content and we'll take an ORP reading. And when we fill our bottles up, we're filling them up to about that line right there. That way there's no air gap in the top. We get the best hydrogen content. Okay, we'll go ahead and start this bottle. Put it on the green light, which means it's gonna do a seven minute cycle. start this one, put it to the green cycle, which means it's going to do a seven minute cycle. And just so you know, this is 350 milliliters of water, and this is 300 milliliters of water in this bottle. Now we'll go ahead and wait the seven minutes, and we'll test them. If you don't want to wait, you can skip forward to when we start the testing. I'll put the uh, time marker in the description below. And if you're just visiting us for the first time, please like and subscribe. We'd appreciate it. And visit our website, hydrogenforhealth.com. That's H-Y-D-R-O-G-E-N, the number four, health.com. Also, please check out our video on if hydrogen water is safe to drink. What we did on that video is we took a bunch of the other hydrogen bottles on the market that don't have uh, dual chamber PEM technology and show you that uh, it's not safe to use the bottles without PEM dual chamber technology. Check that video out. We appreciate it. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the sound off until these are done with their cycle and then we'll turn the sound back on and continue.
just wanted to show you the bubbles and you can see that they're very small and I'm using this vase behind it so you can see the bubbles in contrast you can see that they're very small Okay, you can see the first one is stopped. We're going to go ahead and check it first. Move our distilled water out of the way here. And we're going to take a sample of water up to this line and we'll measure with MIT. and 20 so we could probably put another drop in there but it's starting to stay blue so we put 20 drops into the sample which means the hydrogen content is 2 ppm 2 ppm for that sample. Got another container here. Move this one out of the way and we will test the other bottle. There we 
go. Let's test this sample. Okay. We got our MIZ. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That was sixteen. <laughs> Seventeen. Eighteen. Looks like that one took eighteen. Probably could take one more drop, but 18 to 1.8 ppm. Now let's go ahead and measure the ORP readings just to show you that they have a, neg a high negative ORP. Okay, let's take our meter. You can see that this one's showing negative 480 about 485 ORP negative and let's test this one and we've got about the same negative 480 485 let us know what you think in the comments below thanks for watching